I'm alright, man. Thanks. Yeah, really good. What was that press conference there? What did you do? It was mad, weren't it? It was mad. It was good. Um, we all like a bit of beef and a little bit of uh, a bit of stirring of the pot. It was good. First David Price. No one expected David Price. No, no, I didn't. I didn't expect that. But I think, I think Cash stoked to bear. You know, I think he just stuck a stuck a big dirty pole, sharp pole, and just kept prodding it. And that's what you got. And to top it off, your man and Scott Fitzgerald's. That was exactly how they were training for the social media. Yeah, yeah, but what you know, what they're going to find on on Saturday night is that it's not Twitter and it's not a press conference. You're going to put little gloves on, and, and you know it's going to be painful. I'm speaking to Johnny Nelson today. Johnny Nelson said to me that he feels like Anthony's getting into Scott Fitzgerald's head by yeah. bringing up the amateurs and yeah. moving with the amateurs. Do you believe that? Yeah, yeah. What, whatever, whatever it is that's got him wound up, something has got him wound up, and he's he's behaving, he's behaving different to what he normally behaves. Fowler's been Fowler. That is Fowler. I mean, what you see on Twitter is Fowler. You know, as in, as in, it doesn't take anything extraordinary out of him to do that. It's not like that behind closed doors away from boxing. He's a nice kid, but he knows how to push buttons, and he knows, you know, he knows how to speak. Yeah. Just talk aside, how does this fight play out? Um, it can happen. Listen, you're talking about two big punches, two big punches, not just one, two big punches. So it can, anything can happen. But if Fowler does what he's been doing in training, if he does what he's told, Fowler will go out there and this will be a lot easier than what you think. If he doesn't, then it's a 50 50 fight and whoever lands cleanly properly is going to win. Yeah, the impression that you think this fight is going to end by knockout either yeah. way. Yeah, 100%, 100%. It's open. I was having a laugh with, um, with one of the matchroom guys when they were telling me about you know judges and rules meetings and things like that. So might as well send the judges home, because if this goes 12 round, I will be shocked. There's no way it's going 12 round. Moving on from Saturday night, I've seen you got a new addition to your gym in Derek Tadora. Yeah. How's he doing in your training? Do you know what? Great. It's fitting really, really well. Um, good banter with the lads. Do you know what? It's so funny. What a character. Um, we have we have such a good laugh. But he works hard. He works hard. And um, yeah, it's been it's been going really well. It's it's slotted in. Is he a lot more harder to work with? No. Nope. Uh, a lot easier. A lot easier than what I thought. A lot easier than what I thought. I thought he was going to be hard work, and that's why I was like umming and ahhing whether I was going to train him or not. He's a diamond. I really enjoy working with him. Apart from getting blasted about by 18 stone. That's what we, that's what we tried. That's what we wanted. Um, they wanted more time. I think it was about 11, 10 weeks notice, but they wanted more time. So we had to put that on back burner, and I think that maybe may happen July, maybe. On the topic of heavyweight, we saw Tyson Fury next fight getting announced against Tom Schwartz. Yeah. Um, it's a mixed reaction. Tyson will have done it for his reasons and his reasons alone, and so it's a good reason for him. But for everyone on the outside, I was trying to get Tom Schwartz for Chisora's comeback fight. That tells you. So you've got you've got the 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 big name in the in the division who's who's the best. You know, everyone's saying he's the best, and it's a toss up between them three. He's one of the top three, and he's he's fighting a guy that I was trying to get for Chisora. So that tells you whether it's a good fight or not. Deontay Wilder's next fight just got an article, so it's yeah. like, what do you mean? Yeah. Shit, really, isn't it? Because Dylan White should be getting it. Do you feel for Dylan White? Oh, yeah, massively, massively. He's done everything he needs to to get a, a, a crack at the title. And he's just been palmed off, palmed off. Yeah, he deserves his world title shot. Who do you think Dylan is going to fight next in I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, Maybe, I don't know, maybe Kulev, Ortiz, um, I don't know, I don't know. Deontay Wilder came out and said, it's going to sound boring, but he said that the only way the AJ fight's going to happen if, personally, it's 50-50. Do you feel like it should be 50-50? No. No. Look at what AJ generates. Look at how many belts AJ's got. Look at how many fights that AJ has had to get to that position. Look at what Belt Wilder's got. 
what he's been generating, who he's been fighting, is exciting, yeah, but it's not, it's not broke out. I, I don't think it should be 50-50. But es especially when you're, you're a guy that's not been earning more than that, but yet you expect to earn that straight away. It's not my opinion. People say it's bullshit, but I don't think he deserves a 50-50. I think Wilder said that he's the most talked about heavyweight. That's why he feels like it should be 50-50. Yeah, but just is. Ah, is he the most talked about? Um, but is he in, in talking? In talking about it, is he generating? Is he earning the same sort of money as what what AJ brings to a show? If AJ is bringing eighty thousand people, ninety thousand people to a show, and, and, and things like that, and in half the amount of fights is one this belt, that belt, that belt, that belt, then why does he? Why does he deserve to take less than a guy that, until recently, has been in a couple of million a fight um, and boxing in front of half empty arenas and, and you know, not, not, not really massive? Do you feel like we'll get any of these top fights this year? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think it'll this year. Maybe not even Fury Joshua? Um, do you know what it is? I've kind of like, I thought we were getting it. I thought we were getting it. But then they've all, got, they've all split off and gone with the different TV networks. And I just think it's going to be really hard to make. And I don't know if it's going to happen. In your opinion, what do you think needs to happen to make these fights happen? The fight... Uh, the people that are looking after the fighters have got to want it as bad as what everybody else does. But I think what they'll be doing is they'll be trying to trying to save, not, not want to take a risk. And if they don't want to take a risk, then they're not going to take a fight. Because any one of those three fighters can beat any one of those three fighters. That's the thing. We all, have, you know, each fighter's got individual fans that just believe that their man's going to clean up. It's not as easy as that. There's no set pattern where you can say that that fighter's never going to beat that fighter, that fighter's never going to beat that fighter. You can't say that. Because there's a possibility. They've all got different assets in their armory. And they've all got different vulnerabilities. And because of the level that they are, they're all, they're all good fighters. And anyone can beat anyone. So that, that means that it's a risk. To take any one fight against each other, it's a risk. If the guys that are looking after them don't want to take the risk, the fight won't happen. Because they'll advise them not to. They'll give them another reason why not to. It's no good if one fighter wants to take, make the fights. But if the other two don't, it's no good. Because he's sat there on his own. You know, it's, it's, Two out of the three have got to want to... Got, got to want to play ball because if you get two out of three playing it, the third will jump in. Alright, mate. Nice one. Cheers. Nice to look